Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated today in the 43rd GCC summit which convened in Riyadh in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the chairmanship of Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King delivered a speech in which he commended the great efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques in unifying visions and stances and boosting relations and partnerships to confront all risks and challenges preserving the interests of the countries the region and ensuring their sustainable growth and prosperity. Ismail, she said these three summits are held under complex political conditions that require intensifying of joint efforts to spare the region the repercussions of regional and international conflicts and crises with their economic and social effects which threaten the achievements and delay progress towards further gains. Ismail, the king asserted the importance of unity between the GCC member states as the bulwark of stability and the catalyst of growth and development. He underscored the significance of commitment to the implementation of all resolutions of the GCC Supreme Council and Al Ula Summit Communique. He also called to continue coordinating with the GCC stances and international gatherings to convey the summit's message aimed at fostering just and comprehensive peace and maintaining international security on the basis of mutual respect. Nizmashi the King thanked the GCC Secretary General and Secretary General Dr. Naif bin Falah bin Mbarak al Hajra for the tireless efforts to prepare for the summit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the Riyadh Chinese Gulf Summit for Cooperation and Development in the presence of Their Majesties, Excellencies and Highnesses leaders and heads of delegations of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the People's Republic of China at the King Abdulaziz International Conference Center in Riyadh, which was shared by on behalf of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia and in the presence of Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Sister the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King extended sincere thanks and gratitude to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for the kind invitation to participate in the work of the summit with its promising aspirations for our Gulf countries and the friendly Republic of China. His Majesty extended thanks and appreciation to President Xi Jinping for his interest in strengthening his country's historical relations with the countries of the region and developing them on the basis of friendship, trust, mutual respect, and protection of common interests. It is a good occasion in which we express our pride in the long-standing and solid Bahraini-Chinese relations which date back to nearly 34 years and are distinguished by their broad prospects in terms of economic partnership and cultural and human rapprochement. As Mashi the King said, the persistence of security, political and economic challenges and risk with their difficult repercussions on our common march towards the prosperity and stability that we all wish for our countries and people requires us to cooperate flexible and renewed uh, such as accelerating free trade negotiations and maintaining the smooth trade movement and its fair competitiveness to ensure the arrival of goods at the basic markets in the basic markets in a regular and sustainable manner. Work to implement the recommendations of the Arab Ch Chinese Cooperation Forum and encourage joint investments in the infrastructure sectors. His Majesty affirmed the importance of strengthening our collective action within the framework of a more just and solidarity world, solid world, 
order committed to protecting and respecting the sovereignty of states and their cultural and civilizational specificity. And we stress our firm and supportive position on the One China principle and our appreciation for Beijing's supportive positions to preserve our security and interests. In this regard, they call for the primacy of wisdom and the adoption of diplomatic solutions and ending differences and reviving opportunities for just peace in the entire world. His Majesty thanked and appreciated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for providing this important opportunity to open greater horizons for cooperation and strategic partnership between the countries of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf and the People's Republic of China. His Majesty hoped the joint endeavors will bring prosperity for all humanity. Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud delivered a speech at the opening of the summit in which he affirmed that the GCC countries in the People's Republic of China are important and essential partners and that the positive partners or the positive fruits of this partnership have been reflected on the common interests and on the security and stability of our region. He said that the rapid economic growth and great technical development that the People's Republic of China has reached under the leadership of President Xi Jinping is a success a story that is reflected in China's global economic leadership. The Saudi Crown Prince praised the rapid development in the Gulf-Chinese relationship and the clear diversity in the areas of strategic cooperation between the two sides and that the GCC countries look forward to raising the level of this cooperation to broader horizons. He affirmed that the GCC countries value China's endeavors to put forward initiatives concerned with revitalizing the path of cooperation and strengthening international multilateral action. For his part, the Chinese president called for consolidating mutual trust and firm support for the vital interests between the country and the GCC countries working together to preserve the principle of non-interference in internal affairs and making joint efforts to implement true multilateralism in a way that preserves the common interests of developing countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a meeting with President of the People's Republic of China Xi Jinping within the framework of His Majesty's participation in the Gulf Chinese Summit held in Riyadh. His Majesty reviewed with the Chinese President aspects of close historical relations and promising opportunities to develop tracks of joint cooperation in various vital aspects, especially economic, trade, investment and scientific, in addition to discussing regional and international issues and developments of common concern. His Majesty the King affirmed the pride of the Kingdom of Bahrain in its close relations with the People's Republic of China and the advanced level they have reached in all fields, expressing his thanks and appreciation to the Chinese President for his interest and keenness to strengthen and prosper Bahraini-Chinese relations. For both sides affirmed the continuous endeavors to develop cooperation frameworks and benefit from the experiences, expertise and investment opportunities enjoyed by the two countries in a way that enhances their mutual interests. His Majesty the King expresses appreciation for the important role that China plays in the international arena with all its civilized political and economic ways and the interest it attaches to achieving security and stability in the Middle East region and strengthening cooperation between its countries to serve development efforts and support the global economy. His Majesty commended the role of the Chinese community and their contributions in promoting the economic and commercial process in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The two sides also expressed their aspirations that the Chinese Gulf Summit and the Chinese Arab Summit would contribute to advancing the strategic partnership with China to achieve common benefits for all. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned home today from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia after leading the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the 43rd session of the Supreme Council of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC. Earlier, His Majesty the King left Saudi Arabia where His Majesty was bidden farewell well, by King, at King Khalid International Airport, Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, and other officials, met him farewell. In a pre departure statement, His Majesty the King expressed pleasure to leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia after the end of the work of the 43rd session of the Supreme Council of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf, the Riyadh Chinese Gulf Summit for the Cooperation and Development 
when the Riyadh Chinese Arab Summit for Cooperation and Development. He expressed deep thanks and sincere appreciation for the warm reception and generous hospitality as an extension of what brings us together and links our two brotherly people in terms of historical brotherly relations and the historical depth that characterizes them at all levels and fields. His Majesty highly appreciated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's hosting of the work of these three summits, which reflects the keenness to enhance joint Gulf coaction, support the march of the Cooperation Council, support joint Arab action in the old fields and levels, and devote cooperation within the friendly People's Republic of China in a way that serves the interests of the joint Gulf and Arab countries, achieves good and development for all of our countries and people, and preserve the security, stability, and prosperity of the region. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King was received in Riyadh by Governor, his Royal, the Riyadh Governor, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdurrahman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Riyadh Deputy Governor, the GCC Secretary General, the ambassadors of both countries, Bahrain Embassy diplomatic staff, and other senior officials. In a statement, His Majesty the King expressed his deepest thanks and gratitude to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation as to, to attend the GCC Summit and Riyadh GCC China Summit for cooperation and the development and the Riyadh Arab China Summit for Cooperation and Development aimed to support continued coordination and consultations and to further strengthen GCC and Arab ties with the People Republic of China. His Majesty the King said that these three summits reflect the keenness of the GCC countries and the brotherly Arab countries and the friendly People's Republic of China to intensify joint cooperation and coordination in various fields for the benefit and good of our countries and the world as a whole. His Majesty commended the efforts made by the custodian of the two Holy Moss, hailing his initiative to host the three summits and the Saudi strategic role in the region and the world. A mission of honor was formed, headed by Saudi ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. A joint statement was issued at the end of the Saudi-Chinese summit after a kind invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques to His Excellency the President of the People's Republic of China to visit the kingdom, after which the two sides held an official session of talks. Both sides confirmed in the joint statement that the convening of the Chinese Gulf summits and the Chinese Arab summits is of particular importance in light of the current international situation and they affirmed their support for the Arab-Chinese community for a common future towards a new era initiative. They also stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation between them through the joint Saudi-Chinese high-level committee to achieve common goals and enhance cooperation between the two countries in all fields. They praised the growth of the volume of the interest trade and investment between the two countries and expressed their determination to increase the volume of non-oil trade exchange and facilitate the kingdom's non-oil exports to China. They also stressed the importance of the stability of global oil markets and their determination to continue coordination and intensify efforts aimed at maintaining international peace and security. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Day Endurance Championship will be held coinciding with the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebrations of the National Day and His Majesty the King's and preserving him with the organization of the Royal Union and with the support of the Timkin at the Bahar International Endurance Village. The Federation organized the veterinary examination for the participants in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed the participants in the championship held in co so coinciding with the Kingdom celebrations of the National Day celebrations and His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the riders and stables look into the National Endurance Championship and everyone will strive to achieve the best results. His Highness praised the efforts of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Federation's keenness to create an ideal atmosphere for all participants, wishing them every success. The Bahrain International Endurance Affairs will witness the organization of a series of international, local and qualifying races.
Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the victorious and KHK team led by representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Christian Bohmfeldt achieved the second place at the team level in the Middle East Championship for Ironman 70.3. More than 1,061 male and female players representing more than 77 countries from different areas of the world of the world took part in the championship. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa participated in the cycling race and finished the race at a very fast speed, which contributed to the team winning the second place. In addition to the distinction of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the swimming competition, and he played a prominent role in crowning the team with second place before the Norwegian shined Christian in a running race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad expressed his happiness with these results, which came with the great efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad and Christian in the swimming and running categories, pointing out that this result reflects the high capabilities possessed by the team that contributed to the crowning of the second place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad praised the strong return of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad in the sports of swimming and the great brilliance of His Highness and his contribution to the team winning second place, praising at the same time His Highness the effort of the world champion or champion Christian in running. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain recorded a new success added to the series of achievements in organizing the Ironman Championship for the sixth time in the history of the Kingdom, which contributed to shedding light on the Kingdom in a great way and confirming the merit of Bahraini competencies in organizing world championships, which will be an incentive for further progress, prosperity for Bahraini sports during the coming period.
Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed yesterday the participation of his children in the Iron Kids in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahia Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as part of the activities of the Middle East the Iron Man Championship 70.3. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on supporting the children in the races which witnessed a wide participation. He affirmed that Iron Kids enhances the sports culture in children and pointed out that this category is in need of being introduced and encouraged to participate in competitions. He added that the wide participation witnessed by Iron Kids affirmed the success of the event and affirmed keenness to support this category which represents the future. His Highness added that Bahrain earned international recognition in organizing the Ironman Championship throughout the years, which reflects its capabilities in hosting major events that are in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Highness praised the perfect organization of the Iron Kids event. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Nasser will participate in the main race along with victorious and KHK teams in the cycling race, while His Highness Sheikh Khalid will participate in the 1.9-kilometer swimming race. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahia Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in KHK Victorious Team led by representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa took part in the 1.9 kilometer swimming race as part of the Ironman 70.3 Bahrain Middle East Championship, which kicked off today under the patronage of His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crossed the race distance with great merit amid the encouragement and support of the audience and members of the KHK victorious team. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended most sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on Bahrain's success in hosting the Ironman 70.3 Bahrain Middle East Championship. He also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the successful organization of the championship commending his efforts in hosting the international annual sporting event which turned Bahrain into a hub for triathlon sports that has many fans around the world.
The children of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Baha'i Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Her Highness Sheikh Amnira bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa participated in the Iron Kids, which is part of the Middle East Ironman 70.3 Bahrain, being held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid followed the Iron Kids race which enjoyed wide participation from children and distinguished and organizational success. His Highness hailed the role of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in supporting the triathlon sports in Bahrain. His Highness affirmed that Ironman has become one of the most important championships that attracted triathlon sports enthusiasts. He added that Iron Kids contributes to creating a culture of sports among children and young adults, especially swimming, running and cycling, which is considered one of the most important sports. His Highness said that the Iron Kids is a step on the right path to encourage children to practice sports and make it a way of life. His Highness Shekhad also noted that since the launch of the race, it attracted many children year after year and stressed the keenness for his children to participate in the race from the bene to benefit from the experience. Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Women's Forum hosted by Bahrain Victorious 13. The event was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The forum is also supported by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority, and Chairman of and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Victorious Women's Forum is part of the Ironman 70.3 Bahrain Middle East Championship weekend. It is part of celebrations marking Bahraini Women's Day. Three-time Middle East Ironman 70.3 Bahrain champion and team Bahrain victorious 13 athlete Holly Lawrence, Olympic gold and silver medalist Georgia Taylor Brown and Olympic mixed relay bronze medalist Cassandra Biogran took part in the form and highlighted women's success in changing the sport. 
The event, which was attended by 50 people, reflects Bahrain's relentless endeavors to empower women in various fields, including sports. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa delivered the following speech on the occasion of International Anti Corruption Day, which is marked on December 9th. The Kingdom of Bahrain takes part in International Anti Corruption Day on December 9th to reflect the firm determination to fight crime that hinders sustainable development efforts. Countries are convinced that fighting and preventing corruption requires serious and active programs and initiatives. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always been proactive in its initiatives, programs, and efforts to enhance international cooperation. The reform era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa laid down governing rules for anti-corruption efforts and awareness and transparency practices within an integrated system for protection against corruption. I express appreciation for the keenness and interest of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in safeguarding public money. He supports a performance that promotes a culture of the integrity of developing innovative solutions to combat corruption and moving forward forward with the plans and goals of sustainable development as per Bahrain's Vision 2013. Bahrain strives to reinforce its active regional and international presence at various levels as part of international anti-corruption cooperation, especially since Bahrain is a member of the United Nations and Arab Anti-Corruption Agreement. It has organized this year an international operations network for law enforcement authorities to eliminate corruption out of the responsibility of all parties in promoting integrity, value and transparency principles. The National Anti-Corruption Day comes to assert cooperation and integration between members of the society to offer awareness initiatives of all sectors, organizations and individuals. The participation of the public and concerned bodies in awareness supporting measures is necessary to highlight corruption risk as part of the National Anti-Corruption Strategy. The minister hailed the role of the General Directorate of Anti-Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security, which dealt with 98 anti-corruption cases, including three with criminal suspicions referred by the cabinet about the report reports of the National Audit Office. He valued the awareness role in reinforcing integrity and transparency through national campaigns and awareness activities to enhance national anti-corruption performance. To hail, I hail the efforts of concerned authorities in protecting public money and national accomplishments. The Interior Ministry Minister has appreciated the role of all ministries and organizations for their cooperation and valuable initiatives to cooperate and coordinate in awareness events. May God protect Bahrain and be blessed with security under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Marking the occasion, Public Prosecutor Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bouainin said that this phenomenon has become a major obstacle to achieving sustainable development affecting the reality and future of all societies and economies worldwide. He noted that this scourge disrupts efforts aimed at ensuring economic balance and threatens financial and banking stability at the national and international levels and harms the reputation of financial institutions and international confidence in them. He pointed out the importance of protecting national and international financial systems from exploitation in accordance with legal, administrative and operational frameworks to confront these threats. Dr. Lebrainen has highlighted preventative measures applied to the financial sector and other fields and public institutions stressing the drive to enhance transparency and the principles of public integrity that are necessary to confront corruption. The public prosecutor said that these preventative measures have the greatest impact in enabling Bahrain to enhance its competitiveness and bolster is standing in many indicators according to the classification of regional international institutions and organizations said Dr. al -Bu'ainin. He commended the efforts undertaken by all parties involved in combating corruption through initiatives aimed to enhance the principles of transparency and integrity and the direct control and financial supervision. He underlined Bahrain's strides in light of the development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, supported by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Muhammad al Maouda, has received the Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs, Da'wa and Guidance, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif bin Abdul Aziz al Al Sheikh. The Justice Minister lauded the strong and deep rooted fraternal relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. The executive program was signed during the meeting for the MOU signed by both countries to boost cooperation in the Islamic Affairs, including serving the Holy Quran. Changing, exper exchanging expertise, researches and studies and organizing conferences and symposiums. Both sides affirmed the constant keenness to enhance joint cooperation to serve Islam and promote moderation, tolerance and coexistence. The Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs, Da'wa and Guidance, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif bin Abdul Aziz Al Al Sheikh, and his accompanying delegation visited Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center. The delegation, who were accompanied by officials from the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, listened to a detailed account on the center's facilities. The Saudi Minister praised the historical edifice and its Islamic architectural design, describing it as one of Bahrain's urban and civilizational landmarks. Bahrain's embassy to the Federated Republic of Brazil held a ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its, of its National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. President of the Federated Republic of Brazil, President Jair Bolsonaro has delivered his wife, First Lady Michelle Bolsonaro, to attend the ceremony. Bahrain's ambassador to the Federated Republic of Brazil, Badr Abbas al Hrebi, has underlined the development and growth achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain at all levels. He stressed that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, everyone joins the freedom to perform their rituals, guarantee their freedoms of opinion and belief, and the freedom to establish their places of worship. He referred to the historic visit of His Holiness Pope Francis, Pope of the Vatican, to the Kingdom of Bahrain and the significance of this visit in promoting the values of brotherhood and coexistence among people. The ambassador also stressed the strength of the close friendship and cooperation relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Federative Republic of Brazil at all levels and the importance of communication and exchange of visits between senior officials to coordinate political positions and enhance joint cooperation in various fields. On the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the National Days Festival, which is organized by the Ministry of Information, will kick off at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan today. The festival will be open to the public from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. and will continue until December 19th. It will feature a wide range of public functions and activities, including the folklore band and the popular souk. Many public establishments are taking part in this year's festival, including the Education, Health and Tourism Ministries, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority and Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. The Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture affirmed the completion of all preparations and equipment for the launch of the 10th edition of the Bahraini Farmers Market, which is scheduled to start its activities tomorrow, Saturday. The Ministry indicated that this edition of the market, which comes in partnership with the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, is one of great importance in supporting the government strategy aimed at promoting the local agricultural sector and providing platforms for marketing agricultural products to Bahraini farmers as the farmers market it has become a national event that attracts thousands of visitors from citizens, residents and even tourists. The ministry indicated that the market will include a series of events and activities suitable for different ages. An effort by the organizing committee to diversify the market level, which will offer a wide variety of local agricultural products that highlight the rich diversity of the Bahraini farms. Bahrain Network BNET has won the Best Fiber Infrastructure Development Award at the Telecom Review Leader Summit 2022. This award confirms BNET's leadership in the development and management of fiber infrastructure in the Kingdom of Bahrain in accordance with the best international standards and practices. During the fourth quarter of 2022, BNET achieved significant success by obtaining a marketing claim by UCLA for accelerating broadband growth in the Kingdom through improved fiber speeds and winning the 2022 22 Middle East Technology Excellence Award.